been carving all day, Monday morning. Uh, did some research on the on the interwebs this weekend, how to work with the algorithm on YouTube. And supposedly, uh, you're supposed to like deliver a strong hook in the first 20 seconds of the video. So I'm gonna try that, okay? Hi, today in this video, you will see how I make these prison emblems. You will see how I paint them or uh, sand them, paint them and finish them because they're already carved. You also will hear about Etsy because I sell on Etsy and we will talk about the algorithm and how the algorithm is kind of wacky and goes in all directions. I will share some information about that and my experience. So stay tuned and let's get to it. All right, I'm hoping this um, hook, this intro was um, dramatic enough for you and I'm hoping that you're intrigued now to stick around till the end of the video to see um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have an ending. I'm just kind of making this stuff up as I go. But um, I want to talk about Etsy and I want to talk about algorithm while I clean these prison emblems. These are emblems for prison guards. So um, let me get you over here. You can see while I talk. So I want to talk about Etsy algorithm. The algorithm on Etsy has kind of tricked us in the last four weeks or so. Um, just to give you some numbers, I'm running a sign making shop on Etsy. Uh, it started in 2014. We have 10,000, little over 10,000 orders to our name. I run a second shop called Vimeo Digital where I sell digital downloads, SVG files, TXF files, and so on. Uh, Vector-based files, I have 3,500 orders to my name on there. So a total of 13,500, 600, orders to my name. In the month of February 2021, so this past month, this past four weeks, we were super slow. Unusual slow. At first, we were not concerned about it, but then, I'm sure, the, I'm sure this brushing is gonna mess with my audio, so I'm gonna stop. Uh, we were super slow. We were not complaining at first because I had to remodel the shop and it was just fine. We thought it was meant to be, but then after a while, it just kind of kept on going. 100, 120 views a day, 122 views, 100, 100 views a day. I mean, just mediocre. And so I'm gonna put a graph on the screen right now. You can see all month long, um, consistently bad, let's put it this way. And then out of frustration, about 50% frustration, 50% I thought I'm gonna try something else with the algorithm just to see what it, what, it, what, it's, what it does. And I turned off my ads, my ad campaign through Etsy. I was going for $5 a day and I turned off my ad campaign and when you look at the graph you see the second that day um, where it shoots up, that's when I turned off my ads and 24 hours later boom my, my visits went from 120 to 730. I left off the ad campaign for three days. The ad campaign was offline for three days and in those three days the, the views went way up and you can see you can see the spike that's when the ad campaign was off. So makes absolutely zero sense and I'm not claiming to understand the algorithm, I'm not claiming to be an expert, but I kind of hit it right on this one and I'm glad I did because I was running out of ideas. And so after three days, I turned the ad campaign back on, back to $5 a day. And we've been, we've been seeing slow growth since then. We have more sales, we have the favorites, per item, per listing, that's like the Facebook likes for, 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 for all the non-Etsy people out there. So these favorites, these likes that we get on these listings, um, they're way up. I mean like way up. I get notifications all the time. All right, finished my paint job here on these emblems. I don't know if you can see that, but there is about, I think we have 15, 14, 14. And then over there, painted all these. 
yeah, finished painting. This is it for today. Um, I'm gonna go down to the house now and change out my dead car battery. Always fun. Never a dull moment. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe, comment below.